Bike fans, if you're just tuning in, this is Triumphant number 13, coming here from the Hilton in San Diego, California. <laughs> had to fight Lisi, I would, my first thing would be to do is to hug him tightly and try to take him to the ground and never let him up again, because every time I see this man standing, he is demolishing who is ever in front of him. Took out Lucas Martino with a vicious KO in the second round of our Miami show. I just saw him just destroy people in the U.S. qualifiers. In fact, he put a three-piece on somebody, and the guy threw up for about three minutes in the ring. I mean, it was just like... He's really taking people's, he's not taking people's lunch money, he's taking people's lunch from yeah. their stomach. That's, that's how uh, hard this guy can hit. And uh, I'm excited because just talking to, to uh, Federico Loy, I already know that no matter what Lisi hits him with, if he ain't sleeping, he's creeping on the come up. He's, he's in there fighting. Yeah, he's yeah, trying yeah, to take, yeah. he's going to try to take what he can get. Yeah, I mean, Lisi is, he's a natural born killer. You know what I mean? Just... N real nice hanging out yeah man I'm gonna let it do what it do and then all of a sudden he sleeps somebody what they call him the chef I'll show you what he got cooking up right now he calls himself a guy with skinny power skinny <laughs> power yeah I love it I love it and a creative fighter by that too you know that's Lisi I mean he looks like Shaggy from Scooby Doo <laughs> Except the dude will sit you down, right? Exactly. Loy, the golden boy. Loy here coming in off a big victory in the Muay Thai Grand Prix last April. Both these guys fresh off victories about a month apart. No rust is going to be an affect on this fight at all. So no rust, no excuses. These boys are going are gonna to put on a show. Again, I, this could possibly be fight of the night. That's my early prediction. I, I, uh, I, I, after all these fights, though, I don't know how, how safe I, I feel. Put, I wouldn't bet the house on it now. Well, I've had my guys fight on the Muay Thai Grand Prix all the way out in the UK at the FEO2, and everybody that fights on that show is just top-notch talent. It's a quality show, quality Absolutely. fighters. It's great, and I'm glad we're partnering up with them to kind of get some of their guys over here to fight, some of the guys we push. Um, and build, and then we send some guys over there that, that, that you know to fight some of the guys that they're building out there. And this is how we uplift up Muay Thai across the across the board. Absolutely, international competition brings out the best in everybody here. WBC represented again. He's the WBC Italian national champion. So uh, WBC really making moves in the Muay Thai. And big big props to WBC as well. They're trying to uh, really push that, uh, you know, Muay Thai agenda out here and really uh, kind of solidify and legitimize Muay Thai with a ranking system and whatnot. Everybody knows where they stand in the ranking system and, you know, number one contender fights the champion. There's no BS championships of some guy, you know, Owen whatever fighting for a title stuff. No, you got you to gotta fight often and you got to win to be considered one of the best. And earn it. Yep, you got to earn it. Keep you got to earn you it kill. with the WBC. Yeah. Yep, yep, absolutely. absolutely. So the final instructions here to try to go. So so when I listen, when I'm making my pasta sauce, I'm using a cup of red wine, and it doesn't seem like it's tangy enough. Should I put more red wine in there, or should I? What what should I do? You know, you're Italian, right? And now you know why Brandon Kyle is single. Uh, now. What's, he, what's the instruction for Lisi? Right, like keep it cool. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's talking about right now, but. He seems like he's having a good... Okay, so do you grade the Parmesan high, yeah. fine grade, or should I shave it and then mix it in? <laughs> yeah. He's Single. still over there. I wonder what he's that's talking why. about over there. That's a lot of chit-chat happening. Yeah, that's a lot of chit-chat before the fight even begins <laughs> and before they let Pablo do his thing here. And, guys, I haven't even been drinking yet. Red wine sounds good right now, though. Some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Let's see if someone can handle Belector here, get it done. Uh, maybe uh, now, now Pablo's on. Look, I got. <laughs> if I could get that shot of Pablo talking to him now. Oh God, he's right down the road. Oh yeah, he look at chef's all, look at the chef's all. I'm the chef here. <laughs> Why are they asking this guy if I can get a shot of Pablo and and Do you and think Lisi's offended by that? You know, I don't know. I mean? how dare you? 
I'm the guy that makes sauce. Yeah, that's what he said. You see yeah. that? He, he goes, I'm the chef. All right, we'll send a Pablo for the official Here we go. Ready for this coming event. This is number 13. This is in the Dodge Triumph Vintage Muay Thai Series. Let's get ready for three rounds into the Muay Thai action. You've got to catch three to 157 pounds. You're going to be judges for in this match and ringside. Who's coming out? Jamie Walton and Cecil Peoples. If they're running inside the ring, Jose Cobia. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He wears the Three victories, no defeats. He represents the Butte, Iowa, USA, Lou Lisey. And the one across the ring standing in the red corner. He wears the burgundy trunks with blue and white trim. He officially weighs in 158 pounds. In his professional campaign, he sends record. A perfect one. Seven victories and no defeats. From Calcaristina, Italia. From Italy, Benvenuto. Benvenuto. Lori. Federico Loy wearing the traditional Mong Kong and Pajit over his arms, sealing off the ring right now. Luke Lisi opts not to seal off the ring. The fighters go over each part of the corner, sealing the ring for good luck at not allowing bad luck to come inside the ring. Tradition of Muay Thai being shown here on this co-main event. Federico Loy taking on Luke Lisi. Now I'll tell you, David, this is something, you know, obviously Lisi is a... A very experienced fighter. He's not going to get rattled during this during this moment. But uh, I always thought to myself when I was going to do the Y crew and my opponent didn't do anything like, oh man, let good, let him sit, let him cook, you know, let him let him just. I'm going to do this thing and I'm in control, you know. Well, he we just sealed off the ring. Not a full Y crew. And let's see what's going to happen here as he gets his Mong Kong off mouthpiece in. You see, Philip Tio from Team Tio. Taking off the shirt of Federico Loy. Tip the scales at 158 pounds. All the way from Italy, and there the chef himself. So I, I went and I, I actually talked to the ref about what was going on. It was gnocchi. He said uh, they, oh, they they, every gnocchi. time he rolls gnocchi, they, they fall apart in the boil. So that's yeah. what it was. As yeah. an Irishman, my favorite, because I like potatoes. Because that's all you guys can eat, could eat for, uh, through the famine was potatoes, so you really had to figure out how to make the best oh out of boy. it. I oh, hate boy. You. And back to Muay Thai. Hey, I'm half Irish. I can, I can, <laughs> I'm just Irish enough to make those jokes. It was a genocide, not a famine. <laughs> Here we go for round number one. Look at Lisi with a long push kick. Yeah, when, you know, he's real tall for this weight class here. Very long limp. Long jab right in and gets in. Yeah, Lloyd, I, I, Lloyd, hey, I did notice watching uh, some, some of Lloyd's fights, though. He has a really nice, quick outside leg kick and a nice switch kick that land often on his opponents. Uh, he likes to kind of sneak in with that fake, uh, that, that little faint teep, and then throw that kick off of it. But Lisi is a real clever guy, man. He's tough yeah. to get in on. I mean, Lisi There's hit, that kick right Lisi there. hit Lloyd with that long jab. Lloyd did not react well to it. Yeah, you know, I mean, I doubt that at this, at this weight, Lloyd fights too many people that are much taller than him. Um, not that at least he's overtowering, but man, it's, it's tough when you're that big. To, you don't fight taller guys that often. At least he's really big for this yeah, weight class. It's hard to get used to, right? 157, think about that. Lisi already kind of holding him down. and Look, look at the calmness from Lisi. Yeah, with this experience difference too, yeah. you know? And he said he had skinny power, and we're seeing that happen right he, now. He really does. He really oh, does. Oh, man, that high kick buzzed over the head of Lisi, though, man. That could have been bad if it was able to catch the temple. Just gave him a haircut, that's all. Haircuts are expensive nowadays, so <laughs> he's doing him a favor, actually.
They see nice, like that little that little shift, little thing. Whoa! Goes in that spinning elbow yeah. from that teep kick. Lisi really just. He really does cook with a lot of different ingredients, doesn't he? You know, I, I, I always think of that, you know, I'm going to let it do what it do, baby. <laughs> you know, when I, when I think of Lisi, right? I'm going to let it do what it do, baby. <laughs> Lisi, Iowa boy. Uh, Iowa boys are, are real good people out there. I, I love them Iowa folks. Shout out to my roommate, Zach. He's from Iowa. And all really cool, really cool down-to-earth guys out there. Nice uppercut from Lisi right there. That landed well. Oh, fake that elbow after he landed it in the corner. Like, I like that. Once he fakes something, he fi- he faints it afterwards. Yeah. So you just never look, know. Look at the way he's standing right now, man. This kid, you know, is so focused that he gets away with doing some things that would normally get you in trouble, you know? Especially in the first round. But he's feeling very confident, very in control right now. He's found his range, too. He always kind of fights like this, though. Yeah. He always, I mean, I've never really seen Lisi in, in, in trouble, you know, or stressed. And he's really just, you know, having his way with the length right now. At the, at the outside, uh, I think uh, Federico might need to really just push in and try to close some distance here because the outside game is not quite working for him so far in the first round. Yeah, but I, that I, kick I, is still effective. I think you're right, Brandon. He's, you know, playing that outside game is, is not the way to go right here. But he's probably usually the taller guy, so that's the game he's probably used to playing. Yeah. Lots of oohs and ahs from the crowd here. Federico goes for the glove tap, and, and Lisi just uh, walks, away. walks away. That's yeah. the thing, you know. We'll Lisi's the, the nicest guy outside the ring. Replay. As you look at that replay here, you see him. He's not so nice inside the ring, though, is he, not David? Not one bit. All right, long push kick with Paul by that spin back elbow. And he told me he's a very creative fighter, and we see that creativity coming in right now. You know, Federico Lloyd just hasn't quite found his range yet. He can't, hasn't quite found the distance. But the range control, the now, distance management, Luke Lisi has found it right now. Let's see how this plays out in the later rounds. But, Brandon, you had, you had a chance to speak to Loy's corner and his trainers on what their thoughts were for Lisi's style. What did they have to say about that? Well, you know, I mean, Loy has a very – he came in very confidently. Yeah. You know, and so when you kind of suggest that, that somebody might be a problem for them, they almost kind of like, what do you mean there's going to be a problem for me? In fact, I, I wished him after the weigh-ins, uh, Loy, hey, good luck, man. And he goes, uh, tell that to my opponent. You know, that's more French than Italian. <laughs> sure, but, sure. You know what I mean? He yeah. kind of had a cool accent when he said, you know, my opponent needs luck. I don't, basically, yeah. is what he was saying. So that's kind of the attitude he walks into. The confidence, like I said, neither of these guys are, la- are, are lacking confidence. You can see Loy, he's trying to drive Lisi back. And that's what he needs to do, I think. Don't you, David? I I mean, coming so, out definitely. much stronger in this second round. Definitely. He needs to drive him back so Lisi doesn't get that forward momentum and get the range. He needs to put Lisi fighting backwards. And there he is going with that one, two, trying to reach for those hands. And Lisi coming over the top with the cross and an elbow. The new one. And Lisi with just that effortless push kick, it looks like he just throws that. That leg comes out of nowhere with that push kick. And Lloyd's getting in on the inside. And Lisi going down to that oh, body. Wow, that was a hard body shot. Boxing to the body is, is amazing. I, 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 I think I just saw Loy say, oh, my God. <laughs> and I we called him the chef. He just delivered a liver. Oh, he's hurting really bad. He can't even lift his right arm up. I, the ref just called that fight, and I believe that. And I, he's not really arguing it either. No, no, he knows. He knows. And you saw that. Shot. You saw him going for that body. You saw him reaching out, faking going to that body and that body. Combination, and we saw what well, he think, told I think me. He set it up with power. Yeah, I think he set it up with that hard right hook to the body. You know, and yeah. that hurt Lloyd. Got Lloyd thinking, and then you know, over on the left, left side. Yeah, left side. The chef. Wow. I just delivered. A Early dish in the li- second. With a liver dish, man. Yeah, yeah liver pate, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, have a, you know, like, like like we said in the opening. I mean, you know, Lisi the less experienced in the professional ranks, but boy, did he did he show out. Oh, no doubt about that. Show out, he always seems to do so, and we just keep stepping up in competition, and he just keeps on showing out. So it's like, <laughs> how high can he get before someone really stresses this kid out? Yeah, I mean, that honestly, uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to insult Lloyd, but that, that was a pretty easy fight for Lee. He never looked stressed one time. Right. It's a WBC 
national Italian champion as well. This is no chump, you know, so. Yeah, he's no, he's no scrub. Not at all, you know. We don't want no scrubs. Yeah, TLC, baby. Rest, uh, rest in peace to left eye as we go to our official ring announcement. Even though we already know unofficially exactly how that ended. Ladies and gentlemen, that goes the time. One minute and 16 seconds into the second round. If I put it by the way, okay, oh, victory. Whoa, Lisey! Still, his facial expression doesn't change. And there you have it. Luke. Lisi served a liver, liver dish to the chef himself.